Hello everyone. I'm so thrilled to be here today to showcase our new word fill puzzle tool. We've been listening to your feedback and this tool was the most requested feature by our members. Let's dive in and explore how the word fill tool can take your puzzle creation to new heights. To get to the word fill puzzle, you click on activity books, word fill puzzle tool. As with all of our tools, the first thing you should do is set your trim size. I'm going to use an eight and a half by 11 size. And before you can do a preview, you need to enter your words. So you go to title and word settings, and I have a list of words in a spreadsheet that I'm just gonna cut and paste. And now that I've put my words here, I'm gonna go over to puzzle settings and adjust the number of puzzles. I'm only gonna do four puzzles and I'm going to have 30 words per puzzle. So let's do our refresh and see what that looks like. Now you can adjust the font and font size for your title and the font and font size for your words. So you do that under titles, word settings. I'm going to switch this to Meriwether and make it bigger. You can use any of the fonts that you uploaded to your account under account fonts. Let's leave that one as Roboto and let's make it a little bit bigger and do another refresh. And you can also preview the answer page. And you can customize this title here and make it say whatever you want. So let's have it say word fill. So this time when I do a refresh, the title has changed to word fill puzzle. And once you get it the way you want, you click on the download button. And here's the final PDF. So it's got word fill puzzle one, two, three, four, followed by the answer page. Now some of the other settings that you can do are you can change the height and width. That's going to tell you how many spaces you have in the grid here available to place your words. So if we wanted a square one, we could do 20 by 20. And then it would look something like that. We could make it bigger and do 20 by 30. And then it's going to shrink it down because now there's more spaces. So depending on what you're doing, so if you're doing maybe a puzzle for children, you might want 10 by 15 and then have fewer words, maybe 10 words. And that would look like that. Then you could make your title bigger and your words bigger. You can also choose to show some of the letters in your puzzle. So if I set this to one, it's going to show one letter. If you set it to five, it's going to show five letters. And this number can only go up as high as the number of words you have, because what it's going to do is go through and show one letter in each word. So if we did 10, that's what that would look like. So the more the more letters you show, the easier it's going to be to do the puzzle. So for children's puzzles, you probably want to show more letters than for adults puzzles. And it just depends on your target audience and what you're trying to do. And the last thing you can adjust here is the puzzle size. And that's going to tell you what percentage of the page to take up with the puzzle. So you could make this bigger, let's say 70. And then the puzzle is going to take up more room and you have less room available for your words down on the bottom. So that's just another thing that you can adjust on your puzzles to customize them for the way you want the puzzles to look. Eventually we'll be adding the ability to generate numbers randomly and create number fill puzzles. But in the meantime, you can use numbers in here and it will create a number fill puzzle for you. 
and you can use ChatGPT to get a list of numbers. Let me show you. So I'm going to create a number fill puzzle with 40 different numbers. So I'm asking ChatGPT to give me 40 random numbers with 10 that are three digits, 10 that are four digits, 10 that are five digits, and 10 that are six digits. This way I have a variety of different links for my numbers, varying from three digits up to six digits. And then I've told it to place each word on a new line. Do not include headers to separate each list. And this is the result here. So all I have to do is copy this list and then go into my tool and paste it. We need to update this since I now want to use 40 words per puzzle. So let's change that to 40 and let's go back with a bigger size grid. And let's go back to 60. And let's have it say number fill puzzle instead of word fill. And I only have one puzzle. So now let's hit refresh. Let's say I only wanted to show one of the numbers and that's how you can do that. There's a couple more things you can do with your word or number list down here. They're under title word settings. You can change the number of columns. So this would be four, you could do five. And you can also change the direction. So it defaults to vertical, which does the numbers in this order. But you could also do horizontal if you wanted, which will do your words or numbers in this order. So what the tool does is it organizes your list based on the length of the words or the numbers, and then it puts it in order. It alphabetizes it or puts it in numerical order based on the number of characters or digits if you have numbers. So that's pretty much everything you can do with the new word fill puzzle tool. We're excited to see how you guys use this and the different types of puzzles you create. Uh, I'd love to see you in our Facebook group posting some of the different things that you've created with this tool. And there you have it, folks. We hope you've enjoyed this in-depth look at our new word fill puzzle tool. Remember, your feedback matters, and we're always working hard to improve and expand our tools to better serve your needs. Don't forget to hit that like button, share this video with fellow creators, and subscribe to our channel for more updates and tutorials from a doo-doo book creator. If you have any questions or suggestions, please feel free to comment below. We're excited to see the incredible books you'll create with our new word fill tool. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.